Project Loki has been described as a mashup of League, Apex, Legends, and Smash. And while the comparisons definitely don't stop there, I think Project Loki has the potential to be so much more as well. At the end of the day though, it's natural to make these kinds of connections. So when I made my initial impressions video, I expected there to be some comparisons made in the comments. But there was one game that seemed to pop up so much more than any other. Battle Right. Or more accurately as a comparison to Loki, Battle Right Royale. In this video, I want to take a look at why these comparisons are made in the first place, how Project Loki, at least in my opinion, differs from Battle Right, and what the Chad team over at Theorycraft are doing to create this ambitious combat sandbox that, to me, screams new and exciting gameplay. Oh, and did I mention the game is in pre 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 alpha, so I won't be going over any of the characters specific kits, gameplay mechanics or really anything all that in depth. Just the core pillars of what sets Project Loki apart from so many other games. The first and probably most obvious to someone who has spent time playtesting Project Loki is the verticality of the gameplay. Something as simple as having jump bound to a space bar is a big change from League, Battle Ride, or really any other top-down combat game. But the verticality doesn't end there either. Between jump pads, floating islands, and even fighting for high ground, Loki lends itself to an entirely new dimension of movement that creates near-infinite replayability. Don't even get me started on gliders. Okay, rewind. Did you see that? Gliders add a sense of risk versus reward while traversing the Skylands. While giving the player an out in some heated or dangerous areas, they also carry a massive downside. If another player hits you while gliding, you are spiked into the abyss below, something akin to some of the most epic plays you may see in Smash. While on the surface they may seem like a small part of the gameplay, gliders completely rewrite what you may expect from a MOBA or BR combat. Another area that I think people may get confused is whether or not this is a MOBA or a Battle Royale. And to be fair, the game does carry aspects of both of these genres. Currently, the game has some short farm phases where the player level is capped by a day-night cycle, something that may be familiar to MOBA players. Differing from a MOBA though, the win condition is reliant on being the last team standing, something that will be more familiar to your Battle Royale players. The area where Loki differs is the gameplay in between. Whether it's breaking into PvE areas, fighting bosses, gearing up, or hunting down other teams. I think John, one of the executive producers, said it best. The game went back and forth between like, is this a MOBA or is this a shooter? Yeah. Once we finally said like, this is more of an action game, um, I think that's when a lot of stuff clicked. At the end of the day though, you can do what you want while still aiming for that sweet, sweet win. Finally, Loki doesn't lock its players in any singular type of gameplay. Given varying traps and items, instead of saying I can't do that, you're given the opportunity to ask, what can't I do? Just based on the released footage and simple item mechanics, the opportunities are seemingly endless and provide a great amount of depth to your gameplay. Every time you load in for a match, it can be an entirely new experience and will provide the player with thousands upon thousands of hours of gameplay. This quote from the executive producer Jess really breaks it down super well. And like all of these what if I moments yeah. just like start coming yeah. to you. I think that's the thing too is like, the potential of Loki, like a lot of the moments that I'm thinking about or that you talk about yeah. is it like scratches the like, oh, you can do that? Yeah. Like, it yeah. like makes me ask that question. And there you have it. My thoughts on why Project Loki is setting the bar so high and how it differs from other games in its various genres. I just wanted to get this quick video out to you guys. I know a lot of people have a ton of questions about this game, so make sure you head on over to their website, theorycraft.com, and sign up to playtest today. And if you would like priority access to future playtests, make sure you use my referral link down in the description below. Hopefully this video could clear up any confusion you may have had about Project Loki. I tried very hard to stay within my NDA here, so if this is the kind of content you like, I just ask you to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. I look forward to seeing all of your comments down below. If you have any other questions, let me know. And make sure you join the Discord where we have a constant 24-7 discussion about this game amongst many other future titles coming. As always, my name is Spun, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.